Hi, welcome back. So we are on to video two now, and in video two we are going to uh, show you how to get your object uh, that was pulled in from the previous video into uh, Mesh Mixer and get it uh, aligned on the build plate. So obviously if you're looking at this right now, the, plate, the dark gray area represents your uh, build plate. And right now our character here is actually split in half on top and below the build plate. So uh, if you were to print this right now, you would only get half of this character um, to show, and it would show a whole bunch of supports. And that's probably not what you're looking for. So we're going to use a function today called a transform uh, function in Mesh Mixer that will allow us to actually lift this thing um, and put it onto the build plate here. So I want to show you, if you turn this around, you'll see right in the middle here, there's actually a red dot that you're gonna, that's going to pop up. Let's see if I can find it. That's your home, that's your area, uh, your area there. And if you get lost, you can always uh, hit the home button in the upper right hand corner here uh, for you. So uh, let's go to transform. So to get there, it's a two step process, two clicks. You're gonna go on the right hand side here. You're gonna see all these different uh, characters, characteristics and different things that you can do that we're, we're gonna go through throughout um, a series of these. So the first uh, button we're gonna hit is the edit button right here. And in the edit button, you're gonna see it pop up with um, a whole bunch of different functions here for you to be able to use. But the one you wanna use is really transform here. And once you click on that, you're going to see an XYZ um, characteristics here, arrows that come through. So there are two ways that you can actually do this and, and transform your, your object. You can transform it on the X, Y, or Z. By transforming it, basically you're just uh, sliding it up, down, or towards you. And if you're curious as to which one you're working with, uh, you can grab a hold of the arrow here and left click and bring it up. And it's actually showing me that I'm actually translating across the Y uh, axis right now. And it, if you notice your units, are in millimeters, um, which is what you'll be using when you come into the, the makerspace here at St. Michael's. It shows you relative size as well, which you can play with if you want. And you can actually, uh, it's good to know now, you can actually type in your um, how high or low you wanna do this. So if I wanna translate to five millimeters, I'll just type in 5.00 on, um, on my keyboard. And there you go, now it's translated up and you can see it um, right here. Let's zoom out a little bit. So now my character is slightly above my plate, hovering above my plate. And there's your red home right there to show you the origin as well. So uh, you can bring it down actually a couple ways. You can, uh, you can just grab the arrow and bring it all the way down onto your plate, just like that. Or you can uh, you can just type it in here on the left. But once you're done, don't forget you want to hit accept once you're set to go. So the green here symbolizes your Y axis. The red or magenta here is your X axis, and then the purple that you can see. Let me turn this around a little bit right here. That is your Z axis. So uh, there's a couple of other functions in in this transform that you can work with. Uh, you can actually rotate it by grabbing the uh, box here. So I'm going to rotate this along my, uh, I'm going to rotate this thing um, along my Y. And that is grabbing, I'm sorry, it's this green here. So the colors symbolize uh, the axis that you're working with. So I'm rotating along my Y axis here this way. Uh, you can grab this right here. Uh, this box actually represents you uh, stretching it along that axis. So I'm stretching this character or I'm minimizing it uh, just like that all along the, the Y axis. And the same thing goes here. Uh, this is the stretch along the Z if you want to make it wider along the Z axis. And uh, this is your X axis making it wider there. These little side air things right here, you'll see a degree sign come, pop up right here. Uh, in the box that's showing you that you're actually rotating it along that axis as you go through. So the, the purple here, Z axis, I'm actually rotating it along that Z axis. And then there's there will be an X uh, one as well. You can see it on the back side here. So uh, they it depends on the plane that you're looking at. So you may, if you don't necessarily see it right off the bat, 
right click and hold and rotate your object and you'll be able to see the function that you're looking for. So here I'm going to rotate it along the x-axis as well. So again, once you're done, you can hit accept. And there you go, your object's been brought up. So now we brought this object up onto the build plate and rotated a little bit so you can see it's kind of uh, it's kind of off a little bit. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, we move on to the next uh, series of videos here. I'll show you a different functions. But until then, have a good one.